This is going to simulate a blanket being tugged away from the bed. The red box represents the hand position that was imported from another scene. Going back to frame zero, making sure the blanket's above the bed. And I'm going to dress the bed with the blanket first. And then I'm going to delete the system. And then I'm going to redo the simulation of the blanket being tugged away. Selecting the blanket, FX, and cloth. Create end cloth, selecting pillow in the mattress, end cloth, create passive collider, setting the simulation to about 600 frames, letting it run, stopping the simulation when the bed is made. When the simulation is ran, just as a note, make sure under the animation player settings that it's set to play every frame and change that back to play at 24 frames per second when you're doing a regular animation. So this is simulation. And when you're happy with where it lands, let's say here, I'm gonna select the blanket and do edit delete by type history. I'm gonna do the same thing for pillow and the mattress. Now I'm gonna select the nucleus, end cloth, end rigid one, and end rigid two, and delete them. I'll select this top object, which is the same thing as the blanket right now. Go right click, select faces, and I'll select all those faces on top. Selecting that, pressing delete. Going to the blanket again. I'm going to apply locator. Let's say around here. This is the polling point for the blanket. Going back under end cloth, create end cloth. There won't be any passive collider. Selecting the end cloth, going to vertices, and I'll select a few vertices. A hand usually selects more than one little point. Go under end constraint and use a transform constraint. And what that does, it creates this locator that when it's animated, the object will be pulled with it. I'll select the locator. I'll shift click on the box and press P key. I'll then play the simulation and there's the cloth going away. It's like a magic trick. Ready? Ta-da! Because I didn't select the mattress as my passive collider, I should have done that earlier. Let me backtrack. I'll select the mattress and apply end cloth passive collider. And I'll go to the pillow and do the same thing, end cloth passive collider. And I'll run the simulation again. Ta-da! Next step would be to maybe animate this further or maybe this is where the scene cuts. To hide these objects from rendering, you'll select them. Control A for attribute editor. Go under the render stats, second tab over, render stats, you can just turn off everything. And I could do the same for this box. Let me just throw a sky dome light into the scene. Arnold, light, sky dome light. This is all in rendering, I also have to turn off the Arnold visibility. And I'll hit render and take a look at it. Great. Apply the texture that you want into this scene and render out a sequence of tiffs and then use that as a visual effects layer in After Effects or Premiere wherever you're posting your work.